Hey Gemini, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. We're going to take a look at your next two weeks. See what's going on in love. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Take a look at what fits. Leave the rest. And personal reading link is in the description box below. All right, past energy, Knight of Swords. So, very ambitious energy. Showing up in the past here, going after what you want taking action, being very assertive in the past, um, fast, fast movement. Something moved really fast in the past, okay? Really fast in the past. Let me see if I can turn this around here because I have a big spot. I don't want you to see that. All right, moving really fast in the past, okay? Not even thinking, being very impulsive, um, made some kind of impulsive lifestyle change in the past. Current energy, though, is not freaking moving. Staying stuck. Um, yes, a very a stuck energy. What's going on here? Um, being very greedy. It looks like you went after something in the past that you wanted. Um, or you went back to something at one point before. And the current energy, though, like I said, is like you're 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 not moving. You're not going anywhere anymore. You're done. You're 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 stuck where you are. This is where you're at. Let me take a look here. You're holding on tightly to something right now, Gemini. You're holding on protective. It's a very protective energy. You're protecting yourself. Yes. Um you're seeking long-term security or really like security for yourself okay the challenge is this king of wands masculine or feminine energy fire sign somebody who could either be a benefit or a challenge but i feel like you're protecting yourself from this king of wands this is like i said leo sagittarius or aries this person shows up as very feisty confident bold very charming courageous you may be protecting your heart keeping yourself um but also being very possessive as well okay let me see what's driving you hmm something to do with maybe parenting co-parenting teaching schooling learning you're trying to get information you're trying to learn something right now you're seeking mentorship or you're you're mentoring Either way, you're giving some kind of, the, you're learning something. I don't know if you're giving or if you're receiving, but you're definitely in learning mode right now. There's something here you're trying to learn. Let me see. You could be going to school or you could have a, a, a school-aged people around you or person around you. You might be trying to co-parent with someone, but you're protecting yourself. Um, Or you're, you're, it's, I see you and another person, okay? If you're trying to give instruction or give a blueprint for someone who sits in an apprentice position, they don't know as much as you. Now, you could be also learning as well, but I, eh, this kind of gives me some, something to do with a relationship. You're trying to manage some kind of a relationship, but you're, you're protecting yourself from somebody. All right, you're really thinking things through, Gemini, especially these next two weeks. Like, you are kind of in hermit mode um, in a sense where you're doing like a... I don't feel like you're lonely. I just feel like you're spending time alone in your head. Do you know what I mean? You're learning, but you're, you're not... See, in the past, you were impulsive, but you're not impulsive now. You're not making impulsive moves. You're thinking about things. You're going within for clarity before you're reacting to things and, and then saying, how should I act to a situation rather than react to it? How, what do I need to say? What do I need to do? How do I need to manage a person here who 
you, like I said, they could either they might be a benefit to you in some way, but they can also be um, a challenge. Hmm. Do I make a love offer or not? Yeah, you're definitely you're keeping this to yourself. You're up in your head, right? You're keeping this to yourself. Or do I accept one from someone? That energy too, Gemini. This the next couple of weeks, okay? Now maybe somebody made a love offer to you. I don't know. I just it's not that I feel like you're doubting. I just feel like your energy is I need to think about this before I say yes. Or before, or before I do something, or bef whatever, before I make a move. That's what I feel. Now, the near future. All right. There's a reunion. Two people coming together. Could also be the connection to children. There's a reunion. There's a reconciliation coming up here. Definitely in the next, I'd say, maybe... Well, it's, it's within the next two weeks. Anytime moving forward here, there's kindness, there's there's love, there's sincerity, there's joy. Uh, let's see. There's a giving energy happening here. Let me see what your advice is. Not that Gemini's need advice because y'all are pretty smart. <laughs> but your advice here is pretty much what you're already doing, right? So that just is confirmation. Um, have your boundaries. This is your advice. Keep your boundaries up. You must have been hurt. Maybe you got hurt by some kind of impulsive activity in the past. Now, it could have been you or it could have been another person. There was whatever this impulsive lifestyle change that happened in your past um, has left some, has been a headache for you or has left some wounding of some sort or some difficulty. So your advice is, here is basically persevere be persistent with your boundaries keep and maintain those boundaries okay um and and that just means that doesn't mean like protect your heart so much so that no love could ever get in it just means this is these are my boundaries and this is as far as i'm willing to go now versus before if i rushed into something i'm not rushing into something anymore i'm not i'm not a little bit of wisdom might be plaguing you at this time. Let me see what's surrounding you. What's attached to your environment or the other person? Okay. Big changes happening with um, another person here. New chapter. This person who's external to you. I don't know if it has to do with this person, this reading. But if it does, or whether it doesn't, there's a lesson has been learned with the world. Big time. Big time lesson has been learned. It's been completed. And this lesson had something to do with ghosting, being non-committal, being up in a fantasy world, focusing on riches and material goods. Um, commitment issues, perhaps. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, lessons. There's a new chapter on, the, on another person's end. So it feels like maybe you know who this is. I don't know what happened, but you're definitely cautionary now as far as the decisions that you're making going forward with a particular person and dealing with a particular person. I do see two people here coming back together, but it's a little bit less impulsive in moving forward with each other. Okay. So, the, so obviously in your hopes and fears, you have the fool. So there is this desire to take a risk, you know. Oh, just want to throw my cares to the wind. Want to be impulsive again and not even give a shit. And just do, do, just go on the adventure. Take a chance. Want to have that feeling of freedom to just not be weighed down with, you know, anything. But fearing that if you do that right look at the dog trying to warn the person hey hey hold up you're about to go off that cliff and you could possibly die or hit the ground yeah so there's a fear of course of that and rightfully so because you know um some kind of impulsive decision in the past has left some scars so let's take a look and see what your outcome energy is here well it looks like 
the way you're handling something right now, Gemini, in your life is going to bring you good fortune and good luck. You're handling it like the right way, it seems like, um, because you're putting thought into things and you're using your boundaries um, because you value yourself and you don't want to, you know, you're, you're, you're wounded in some way. You know, this is the wounded warrior. This is the person that comes back from war and is like, wow, I'll never do that again, you know? And now I'm going to be more careful next time. So that Wheel of Fortune, the outcome is a turning point, a change, not just for you, but because of you that this change is turn that is happening with the Wheel of Fortune here. There's good luck, okay? Things, things working out for you in favor. In favor of you, okay? Because this reading is about you. Let's take a look and see what your messages of love are here messages of love for Virgo. I'm um, not Virgo, I'm so saying that. Gemini, maybe you're dealing with a Virgo, Aquarius, like I said, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, Scorpio, Taurus, um, all right, let's take a look. Wow, play hard, find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other. Real important right now. Try not to take something too, too seriously. This time the person is unable to give you all you deserve. And that's fine because I think you know that. Um, and that's part of your decision making. What you want to do, how you want to handle something. You're protecting yourself. Okay. But this does have to do with a past, the past life lover. Someone that you've been involved with before. Who's, who is going through um, a spiritual transformation and an awakening which we saw here. So I feel like if you're, there's like a reunion or a reconciliation with someone happening here. Um, obviously, it's use your head this time and don't rush into something. Take your time making the, the you know, like what you want to do. Like if, if you feel like you got into something with someone before and you got burned, but you still love the person and you're waiting for something to shift or to change with them. Um, I feel like right now, just take it easy, just laugh, just everything in divine timing, everything that's meant to be will be. And the, and the other person looks like they're going through some kind of shift and change. And I feel like that is like your biggest message. All right, let's take a look and see what your Chinese sign is. If you don't know your Chinese sign, look up your date of birth and you will be able to find it. So someone is born in the year of the pig, year of the monkey, year of the horse, year of the rat. Year of the ox, year of the snake, year of the tiger, or year of the dragon. So that could be you, that could be your person, um, it could be none of you. It's just um, kind of just to let you know who the reading might be more specifically for. All right, let me get a couple of charms and see. All right, so we do have a uh, four-leaf clover. So there's a connection to a, a four-leaf clover or maybe Ireland. We also have a starfish or a fidget. There's a fidget here. You know one of those fidgets? Spinner, fidget spinner. Somebody use it using, a f like me, using a fidget spinner. Okay. Chameleon. They just said chameleon, even though this is some kind of a, a lizard. Uh, they just told me it's a chameleon. So be careful of chameleon, a chameleon. And you also have um, a seahorse. Um, so they're just telling me there's a pregnancy that you might find out about. Um, I don't know if it's related to you or not. It, like, it, it, in other words, your pregnancy, perhaps could also be a connection that you have to someone um, where you find out it could be at work it could be a friend or a family member um, and you may find out about this in the cold season the winter season so I don't know exactly where you are um, you could be in the winter season wait it's summer yeah you could be in a winter season right now depending where you live in the world, but um, there may be a pregnant, they're just telling me a pregnancy in when does winter begin in the Northern Hemisphere, right? At some time, um, due to maybe some sex on the beach. Just saying, just saying, somebody might also live in Arizona. 
There's a connection to Arizona. I'm just picking up. Um, and Florida. Arizona and Florida. Okay. All right. I'm going to leave that reading there. I hope that gave you some insight. I will see you guys back here in a couple of weeks. Take you care. Said Bye. I was the only one. No one likes being like two. You made this mess and left me with the pee.